Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to my channel, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm taking part in the monochromatic Instagram hop again for this week and we are featuring the colour Real Red, which, you know, is going to be fun because, you know, it's actually not a colour I use very often. So I'm going to start off with my card base. I'm using Real Red cardstock, so I'm cutting um, the cardstock to that piece of A4 down to 4 and 1 8 scoring it in half and then burnishing that score line. Also have some basic white thick that we're going to do some die cutting from. Now the Spotlight on Nature bundle has um, some great dies that bundle with it. There's actually 12 dies in the bundle and there's three different designs. Now these are nesting dies. Um, I highly recommend this bundle or at least these dies because you're going to get so much use out of these dies because they nest in, um, they're just amazing. So once we've die cut that out, so that is the largest of the flower die with basic white thick cardstock. I'm also going to take the flower stamp set from that Spotlight on Nature bundle and we're going to stamp that in the middle of our die cut circle with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Now I've done it Tuxedo, Tuxedo Memento ink for a couple of different reasons. Um, mainly I wanted it to stand out and be nice and vibrant. But I'm also using my stamping blends to colour in the flowers. So another reason, you know, you want, you want that uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink as your ink when you're using your blends. Can you guys tell I'm sick? And I think... I think I'm waffling more than normal so if I am I do apologize I am not feeling 100% but I do have to get these videos done because I'm in a time crunch. <laughs> I've also grabbed a couple of those stamps in that set now there's um, some little splatters there's also some little I don't know checker plate sort of thing I don't know what you would call it but I'm just going to stamp the background of the uh, real red card stock or it's the the card base in the background I think you know when you're I'm trying to keep these cards fairly simple for the monochromatic hop but sometimes just leaving the card base the one color I don't know I, I struggle with that a little bit so by adding a little bit of background stamping it sort of gives it that texture makes it look really great as well and you know lets your eye move around the card and um, see different things. So I'm really happy with how the background went. So I'm bringing in my light and dark stamping blends in Rule Red and we're just going to colour those flowers in. I'm doing a little bit of shading so going in with the uh, dark first and adding a lot of colour to the base of the flowers and then using my light to sort of colour in the whole of the flower and blend those colours in together. So I really like how that um, sort of how our stamping blends work and we're also going to just add a bit of color to the stems and the leaves as well um, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone I like to sort of keep the right colors to things so by coloring in the stems and the leaves in real red you know what it's it's not my usual thing but you know it looks good too so I hope you like that um, of course, I think just leaving it like that, although it looks beautiful, it does need just that little bit more. And I think the um, my go-to go way of adding a little bit more is bringing my blending brushes in and just adding a little bit of colour to the background. So I'm not fully colouring in that whole die cut shape. Um, we are just going to add just a little bit of colour to the centre and around the flower. And I'm trying to keep a really light hand here and not add too much of the ink so we don't get those circle marks as well. And then I'm just using that little splatter stamp in that set to add a little bit more of the colour in there as well. Now this is just one of the cards for the monochromatic Instagram hop. So if you head over to Instagram to... Um, my handle at stamp and tracy bish you'll be able to see all the other people that are joining in this week with the real red instagram monochromatic hop um, and i hope that you will go over and check that out um 
you know, there's always so much great inspiration. I'm also stamping the word or the sentiment thanks onto a strip of real red cardstock. With Versamark ink, I've got my white embossing powder and I'm just going to heat emboss that until that uh, melts that powder and goes really great. Now, in these um, products that I've used on today's card, you can purchase them in my online store. And there is a link in the description of this video if you would like to purchase anything through my store. And I would love it if you did. Um, I like to spoil my customers each month. So um, by purchasing through me, use the host code and I will send you a handmade card as well as the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle for the month which is always so fun, you know, 12 beautiful projects that you can replicate. Um, if you spend over $65 before postage, I'll also send you the monthly tutorial bundle, which is also packed full of inspiration. There's usually between 40 and 60 projects, so lots and lots of inspiration there. And yeah, I'd love to spoil you as a customer. So if that interests you, um, you can use the link in the description of this video. Alright, so I have um, just cut down my sentiment piece. I've layered down a piece of basic white underneath just to sort of break that real red down a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in and banner cut those edges. So it's got a nice little banner on either side. Now, you know, this looks really good and, you know, we've, we've certainly made a beautiful card here, but... It does need a little bit of bling and I find um, real red is not, I don't think there's really many uh, embellishments out in real red. There's certainly no ribbon at the moment which I'm, I'm devastated for. But um, I'm just going to bring in the stamping blends that we used on the card and I'm going to colour in some rhinestones, some basic rhinestones and add them to the card front as well. So, you know, we've got a little bit of bling <coughs> even though um, there's no actual real red embellishments. And did I say I have popped up with dimensionals that die cut circle? Oh, here we go. I'll show that here now. So yeah, popping that circle up with some rhinestones. And I'm also sent, popping up the sentiment piece as well. Now this is real red cardstock. So um, as a card base, I'm going to add a piece of basic white to the inside piece. And I'm just going to tell you the measurements really, really quick. It is 3 and 7 eighths by... 5 and 5 eighths and we're also going to stamp the inside because you know we don't want it to be boring so I'm going to bring in that flower stamp again the sponge of the um, blending brushes and just add a little bit of color and then I'll also stamp that little splatter stamp as well so very easy to create your own embellishments with some rhinestones and <coughs> excuse me your stamping blends alrighty so cute yeah so once we've done the inside this card is done so i really hope that you've enjoyed the real red card for this week's monochromatic instagram hop if you have i would love it if you gave me a thumbs up left a comment um share with your friends and family and um yeah hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already as well I really want to thank you guys for sticking with me tonight or today, whenever you're watching this, I'm actually recording it of a night time and um, sticking with me to the end. I am a little bit sick, but um, I really wanted to get these out and uploaded and all done for you. So I've just had to push through a little bit and keep it going. Otherwise I'll get behind and I won't be able to keep up. So yeah. So once I've stamped that, with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm just drying it a little bit. Um, Memento usually dries fairly quickly, but I've just re-inked it not long ago and it's still really, really juicy. So I want to make sure that was really dry before adding the uh, blending brushes and smudging it all. So, and I think that looks really good, but I've just come in with um, what was left over on that stamp. I didn't add any extra ink, just left what was on the stamp from the front of the card. All right, and then we're gonna add that in and that is it. 
Thank you so much everyone for um, coming and joining me today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit subscribe, share the video with your friends and family and go over and check out the Instagram hop um, and see what everyone else has created. Have a wonderful day friends and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.